<laughs> Pressing X. What's up, everyone? Rated J from Cynical Gaming here, and today we're heading right back into the courtroom with Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Trilogy HD over here on the PlayStation 4. And with me is Prince Vegeta, who's going to help me get through the whole damn thing, hopefully, because I suck at these things. <laughs> But anyway, 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 anyway. We are actually in the second game of this trilogy, and we're going to the second case of this trilogy, and we're going to be starting that in just a moment. But, uh, yeah. It's been a little while since I played Phoenix Wright, and I'm actually kind of happy to get into it. I don't remember none of the voices I gave anybody, except for maybe, uh, Gumshoe. Who likes to talk like this? But anyway, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to pull any of the voices off or anything like that. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I just want to have fun playing the game with all of you lovely people and trying to get through these cases to help the innocent souls that have been done wrong by the justice system. And the stupid, stupid cops that uh, are patrolling whatever city they are in. I think it's Los Angeles. I mean, it does... If it is LA, it, uh... It does explain a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's, uh... Let's do, uh... Episode 2, Reunion and Turnabout. Part 1, Investigation. So, uh... Yeah, I think this is the story about... How Maya Faye... Return to the Phoenix Wright, um, you know, uh, attorney office and all that nifty jazz. So, let's hop in it and see what we're going to be doing. That was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. Oh, no. I was murdered by that person. Oh lordy. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Annie? Uh, what? Okay. I finally get to see you again and. It's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I... I did it. I killed that person. What the fuck is going on? But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. Um... Why is she in jail again? What did she do? Or didn't do? I'm confi- I, I- Well then. I can't believe something like this is happening. The events of that gloomy, rainy afternoon that started this whole mess. Keep playing through my mind. Okay, you need to tell me what the hell is happening because it looks like Maya's in trouble again. June 16th, six days after my birthday, look at that. 3.34 p.m. Wright & Co. Law Offices. Oh. Oh, God, who are you? What depressing rain. Do you understand how depressed that makes me? Do you? Uh, I guess? Um, but actually, more than being depressed, I'm angry. Angry at that weather girl on TV. I think our little rainy spill will take a break with a day of sun. 
is what that girl said. I'd stake my life on it. Well, it's the weather. But that's why I didn't bother to bring an umbrella today. What nerve calling herself a weather girl. She's going to hear about my $1,500 suit. Oh, this, this guy. I don't like him already. Um, about your case. Unless you're planning on suing the weather girl. I'm sorry. I thought that before we got down to business, we could have some friendly chatter. My name is Dr. Turner Gray. I'm a surgeon. Remind me never to end up under his knife. Right, Phoenix? I understand, man. I'm here today because of this incident. Malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. Fourteen inpatients lose their lives. What? Oh, you're the doctor at... It's really quite upsetting. Did you hear me? Upsetting! Yes, yeah, I heard you. I agree, it's quite upsetting, Dr. Gray. The one that screwed up was that nurse. It was her that got the medications mixed up and killed those 14 patients. And yet... Now listen good. And yet... That nurse had the nerve to go and die before admitting to her wrongdoing. She didn't even offer any sort of explanation to me, and this is the kicker. She up and has herself a grand old accident and crashes her car. Smash Crunch, instantly transforming her car into an accordion model. How much of a scumbag is this guy? She died before she could admit to anything. What in the effort living hell? That's right. About a year ago, all the tabloid show shows were talking about it. Fourteen victims of medical malpractice and the nurse's mysterious fatal accident. There were rumors that Dr. Gray had accidentally caused that crash. People said it was in forever... was to forever hide the person responsible for the malpractice incident. Why would I? Now I'm just going to say this once. Why on earth would I want to kill that nurse? She's the one who killed those 14 patients, not me. I, I think you need to take a deep breath, Doctor, and focus. More to the point, this case is over a year old. Why bring it up now? That's simple. Because the situation is slipping out of my grasp. This just won't do. My clinic isn't seeing nearly as many patients nowadays. Maybe they're just not getting sick. Do you understand what that means? It means they're not coming to my clinic. You don't say. If it were me, I don't think I'd want to go either. So, what would you like me to do about it? I want you to help me prove I'm innocent. Um, do you... You do realize I'm a lawyer, not a private investigator, right? No, this is something only you can do. Uh... Maya Faye, you know this girl, correct? Maya, why would he know her name? I heard you were working under her for a little while. Oh, well, yes, I mean... Hey, wait a second here. I worked under her? Yes, am I wrong? She told me, so I'm not quite sure if... Well, we worked a few trials together. But she went back to her hometown to undergo more training. Ah, yes. I heard. It must be lonely for you. Why? Wait, I'm not... She must be an extraordinary girl to handle such rigid training. Ah. I have an acquaintance who knows a lot about these mystical sorts of things. She's the one who introduced me to Miss Faye. Is Maya really that famous? And I've already set up an appointment. For what? What else? The channeling. I'm going to have her call the spirit of that nurse that went and got herself killed. Uh-oh. 
Myra, I wonder what she's up to right now. We, the women of the Phage clan, have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. That's what she told me. I guess she's learned to accept her responsibilities and became an adult. Oh, that's what happens when you grow up, Phoenix. Jeez. Not counting training, this will be your first time channeling a spirit. <coughs> oh, that voice hurts. So she gave me one condition before accepting my request. A condition? The condition is you, Mr. Wright. She said that she wouldn't do any channeling without first seeing you again. Me? And that is why I've searched you out. You want to see her too, don't you? I guess we're going to see Maya Fey. And so, that is how I ended up visiting Maya's hometown with the doctor. June 19th, 1.25 p.m. Kurain Village. Ah, that's a pretty little village. So this is Kurain Village, Maya's hometown. What, why, hello there. Okay, little girl. Hmm, what an odd little girl. Hey, wait up, Pearly. Hmm, now someone else is coming this way. Nick! But Maya, uh, how are you? It's good to see you again. Wow, I didn't think you'd really show up. It's not that big a deal. You made it sound like you were so far away. Well, maybe I exaggerated just a little. It was only two hours by train. If I had known you were this close, I'd have visited more. No, you're not allowed. I already decided, you know. Until I become an adult, I have to work hard and be strong by myself. Oh, well... Anyway, congratulations. I'm glad to hear your training is going well for you. Hehe. <laughs> Let's talk, Maya! Looks like you've finally become a full-fledged medium, taking on your first job. Yeah, I didn't think it would be so soon. But this case, do you know the messy story behind it? <laughs> Behold the power of Maya, Intelligence Network. Let's see, 14 people died because of malpractice on Dr. Gray's part, right? And to pin the blame on the nurse, he killed her in what appeared to be a car accident. Huh? Um... So what is this Maya Intelligence Network anyway? The tabloids. That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, Nick. What really happened is the exact opposite. I heard all about it from Dr. Gray. Oh, come on, Nick. I wouldn't take a crazed killer as a client. That's too scary, even for me. Yeah, I, I guess so. So, this is your hometown, huh, Maya? Yep. Korean Village. But I've heard people call this place Medium Valley, too. Interesting. So everyone that lives here is a spirit medium? Pretty much. Most of my ancestors were, too, I think. <laughs> Libby with the hearts. Hi, baby. Oh, welcome to the stream. And Boo! Uh, look next to your name. I think it showed up on your side as well. I finally put in, um, uh, sub badges. So, uh, yeah. Most of my ancestors were two, I think. It's probably true since the Fey ability to communicate with the dead is so strong. Yep. The sub badges go as uh, as follows. 
you got uh, plus and minus. Well, plus then minus. Then you get Pichu. Then you get Pikachu. And at the one year mark, you get um, Raichu. So it's... Uh, what is it? Plus soul, minus soul. I'm probably butchering their names. Plus soul for one month. Three months would be the minus. Six months would be Pichu, I believe. Nine months would be Pikachu. And a year would be uh, Raichu. So yeah, you got the evolutions. Even though I don't think those two are part of the evolutions, but they freaking fit and they're cute as hell. <laughs> but anyway. Actually, only the women of this village are mediums. <laughs> Thank you, Boo. So, what do you... What do the men do? They usually work someplace outside the village. Oh, yeah. I wanted to ask you about that girl I saw earlier. Do you know her? Oh, you mean Pearly? Pearly? Pearl Fay. She's my cousin. What is up, Wolf? How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Isn't she adorable? Just like yours truly. We're playing, uh, we're playing Phoenix Wright again, and this is the second case of the second game in the trilogy. So, I'm floating completely blind with this, and will probably be stuck and hate myself for it. <laughs> but again, welcome to the stream, Wolf. Thank you for showing up. Cousin, wait, then that means, is she also a... Yep. She's a medium, too. Pearly's a real genius when it comes to channeling. Hmm, uh, I see. I hope I didn't scare her when I tried to talk to her earlier. I'd be lurking you uh, to doing some fishing on some Final Fantasy XIV. Grind time, wolf on the prowl. <laughs> Get them fish. <laughs> What, um, what class do you play in 14? Nah, it's, it's not you. My aunt drilled it into her head that if a suspicious-looking person tries to talk to you, run away. S suspicious looking Well, you're not wearing training clothes, for starters. Of course not. Pearly is my aunt's most valued treasure, so she's not allowed to go outside the town. She doesn't know much about the world outside of Kareen Village. Aunt. Pearly's mother is my aunt. Duh. Come on, Nick. Well, Nick, I've got to get going. It's about time for the, for the channeling to start. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm doing the channeling in my house, so come on in, okay? After I'm done, we can grill up some juicy burgers. Alright. Currently, using the same class that I started out with, being new to MMOs, Cynical, and Arcanist. You're an Arcanist. Uh, me and uh, Libby, we played Final Fantasy XIV for a while. And, um, we got, we got a decent way through, but... Um, just like most MMOs, they do tend to get boring after a while. Due to the constant grind and the uh, repetitive quests and, and whatnot. So, we're currently taking a break from 14. But if we ever get back into it, we'll hit you up. It'd be cool to play with other people. <laughs> Alright, good luck, Maya. Thanks. Well, at least she's still the same perky Maya. Huh. Um. I have access to the Shadowbringer DLC. Which is the reason I picked it up. I was really hyped for it. Nice. Um. I'm guessing you haven't gotten up to that far yet. Uh, mediation room. June 19th, Fay Manor, Mediation Room. 
Ah, Mr. Wright, I'm so glad you showed. Some nice weather we're having today, aren't you? Aren't you happy? No, not at all. That stupid weather girl made the wrong call again. It will rain cats and dogs today, she said with a straight face. I'm a white cleric. Well, it got me hooked the first 15 minutes I started playing it. So I'm loving the game. It's absolutely amazing. It is a really good game. Don't get me wrong. And it's it, it's your typical like Final Fantasy story. Which, mind you, I, I love. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a sucker for a good Final Fantasy game, don't get me wrong, or RPG in general. But, um, it's just, the, the grind some days, uh, gets really boring, and as you get further in, you'll notice that, um, there's more of the typical, like, MMO fetch quest, or, hey, go kill three or four of these, or five or six of these, and come back to me, and I'll give you another random, you know, mission. No, not even close yet, Senegal and Libby. Just level 24, I think. Oh, wow, I forgot what level I am. Uh, Libby, do you remember? I th weren't we around, like, 40 or 50? Maybe even higher in Final Fantasy 14, level-wise. I can't believe they allow such misguided reports on the public airwaves. Looks like talking about the weather with this guy is just asking for punishment. Shea with the biddies! Thank you, Shayon. Yeah, also, Shayon, I told uh, Libby earlier, but look next to your name. We now have uh, sub badges, and I went with my favorite... Pokemon for my sub badges, okay? You're not gonna get them until you're like a sub for like six or nine months, I think it is. But we have like uh, the the Pikachu line, okay? We got we got Minusol, Plusle, um, which would be the first two. One month is uh, Plusle, I believe. The three month would be Minusol. Then after that is Pichu, then Pikachu, and then a, the year mark would be Raichu, if you uh, if you guys make it that long. And uh, I went with that because I feel like Pokemon's gonna be a big thing with my channel, and there are tons of Pokemon games, so why not? I mean, I have a lot of fun playing RPGs and stuff like that, and. There are a lot of unique ROM hacks and everything, so I could play Pokemon forever. And, hell, I'm going to have fun doing it. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for the biddies again. 50-something, I think. Yeah, I think that's where me, you, and Bio left off at when we stopped. Yeah, I picked that up from the experience of playing it. Only opens up a new quest every five levels. True. The grind never really made me quit a game. Usually makes me work harder. The, it, yeah, but... Okay. Um, I'm sorry for putting a game on hold, by the way. And, um... The, uh, the thing is, the thing is with, uh, that, it... It just gets boring after a while. We want to go do something new. We usually do come back to it. But, uh, it's... And it's just how it is with us, you know? Like, well, should say only one friend does the five-level grind with the guild person for material. Really? She on with the no problem. <laughs> but anyway, this is a splendid matter. Whereas I have just been farming, doing it the legit and hard way. Yeah, Libby was doing that as well. Libby was also uh, farming a lot of the different job materials. And uh, making different potions, I believe it is, and whatnot. No arguments there. It's hard to believe that this is Maya's house, though. I was given a guide map to the, this building. Here, Mr. Wright, I have a copy for you, too. Thank you. 
if I'm not super active in here, it's because I'm watching drags because they're doing a raffle. Fine, Shion. I understand. Hmm. <laughs> yep, massive healer. You you were a really good hero. I'm not, not going to lie. You you do your healing job well. Guide map. Added to the court record. What kind of raffle is he doing, Shion? Uh, let's talk to this fucker. What are you going to do once the nurse's spirit has been called? I'll oh, no need to be sorry, Shion. You know I'm only playing. Isn't it obvious? I'm going to have her write a signed confession. Yo, when Libby plays a role, she is dedicated to it. Libby has been um, a healer in uh, Final Fantasy XIV and several other games. What is up, Satan? For 20. Just throwing the uh, lurk out before I pass out, man. Thank you so much for coming by and supporting, man. No problem, dude. You know I'm all about that uh, support. Tsunami, what's up? Coming to say hello, probably gonna sleep, but I got you. Thank you, man. Thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, dude, you know I got you, man. Whenever, <laughs> keep it up, you're handsome. I'm glad you've seen that. <laughs> They're doing a few gift card raffles. That's pretty cool. But yeah, Saint in 420. I don't mind supporting. I try. I try to at least have a couple of um, a couple of things up every now and then, you know, just so I can lurk and bounce back and forth between streams. A signed confession. As a confession, pay attention. I'll have her write this. One year ago, on May second, fourteen patients died due to my negligence. And then on May twenty fourth, I fell asleep at the wheel and died in a car accident due to my. Further negulence. <laughs> well, this dude is an asshole. I'm sorry and I apologize for being negligent. <laughs> That's what I'll have her write. With a confession, the rain falling on my soul can finally stop. He's a dick. Just wanted to show my appreciation. Not many people do. That's true, man. I mean, unfortunately... There have been several people that I stopped um, doing anything with because they feel the need that they they shouldn't have to do it back. But I got you, man. This is legit my first game fully using the keyboard and mouse. Just getting the hands uh, used to it. Um... The keyboard and mouse with Final Fantasy XIV I think is actually a lot better than um than the controller but me and Libby we play on the PS4 she does play with a PS4 controller but I play with my mouse and keyboard the good thing about Final Fantasy 14 is it's crossplay with PC so even if we're playing on the PS4 we could actually still play with you on PC if that's what you're playing on oh I see so how did you hear about my effect I heard about her from an acquaintance, a girl studying the occult at the college. That girl introduced me to this village. This is the home of the Curain School of Channeling. The home, huh? And Miss Maya is the daughter of the Master, I hear. Master? Anyway, do you see that door? That's the room where people and spirits meet. Miss Maya's aunt is in there right now. Would you care to meet her? Uh, I guess we're gonna move to the channeling chamber. Yeah, I made two days specific so I can watch some streams. I don't get the chance to see that often. Hit you with a host. My viewers usually come chill for a bit. Have a great night, brother. Alright, man, you have a good night too, Tsunami. <laughs> Get that rest. Thank you for the host. 
And thank you for stopping by the stream. Oh, that's a pretty room. June 19th, May, uh, Fay Manor, channeling chamber. Wow, it's such a strange atmosphere in here. Yep, I'm playing it on PC. It's good that Square Enix made it that way, the cross-platform. It, it is really cool, and I, I honestly hope a lot more games start doing that in the future because I mean it, it just gives us more people to play with and you know befriend I mean the game that the game that came out on the PS4 not too long ago and the Xbox one it's called Dauntless it was on PC uh, for quite a while beforehand and that's cross-platform as well so we get to play with Xbox and PC players and I think that's really cool Wow, it's such a strange atmosphere in here. These flickering lights, I guess they're candles. Well, I mean, how can you not tell they're candles, Phoenix? <laughs> Good sir, who might you be? Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, my name is, uh, Phoenix Wright. Oh, you must be that good sir. Good sir, is she talking about me? You are a lawyer, are you not, good sir? I've heard much about you from Mystic Maya. Is that so? Mystic Maya? I'm Mystic Maya's aunt, Morgan Fay. No, nice to meet you. Ah. I had wanted to speak with you about a certain incident, good sir. It would seem that perhaps you ask too much of Mystic Maya in performing her duties. Most unbecoming, I'm afraid. Ah? Huh? Don't tell me you have already forgotten. That was it, not for Mystic Maya and her assistants. You would surely not have won. First a girl that runs away, and now an old lady who says I stink at doing my job. When did I become the poster boy for how not to make a first impression? <laughs> Oh, Moggy, what is up? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I have no clue what that is, man. And I'm not going to butcher what I might be able to read, but I could read Senpai. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but welcome. Welcome to the stream. Uh, the past uh, is the past, though. Let us speak of the present now. Uh, thank you. Why is she so weird already? Already, like, why is the Fay family just oddballs? So, why do you add Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little strange? Senpai means somebody older than you. No, I know what Senpai means. It's the word before it, and I'm going to say that's uh, Japanese. <laughs> Japanese writing, at least. I, I'm horrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> Senpai, I, I know what that means from, uh, did you think another thing? No, 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 no. Senpai, I know what that means from watching different types of anime. Everything else you wrote, though, I have no clue. <laughs> well, the things I can't read, that, yeah. Yeah, I'm horrible at this. Anyway, <laughs> yes. How dare you be so rude and disrespectful toward Mystic Maya? I, I'm sorry. She must be addressed by her proper title, good sir. You must call her Mystic Maya. That look she gave me, Jesus! Um, uh, so about Mystic Maya, huh? Hurry up, I'm uh, gonna just get some food. Alright, monkey! It is the blood. Excuse me, blood? Mystic Maya carries the blood of the master. In actuality, she is the only one remaining. Only one remaining. What's that supposed to mean? 
Mystic Maya is the last of the rightful heirs to the Kuran channeling technique. Okay then. I think this is a gun, 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 gun. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe, definitely, maybe. Okay, then where do you stand? Now, that is a little more complicated. Although a woman of the Fey Clan, I am merely a member of the Branch family. Branch family? What's that? It is as it sounds. For a member of the Branch family, no matter how spiritual power, she can never become the master of the Kurain school. So, how strong are you? It is a shame, however, I will admit. I cannot even begin to compare the lowliness of my power to the Masters. So that's how it is. Yeah, she's, um... She did it. I'm calling it right now. Um... So today's channeling will be her first? Yes, good sir. Because the spirit of a person who dies in a traffic accident is usually very strong. It is usually easier to call that person to a ro A traffic accident? Why would it be the traffic accident? Why would that spirit be strong? Like, there's other ways to die. Is it, is it gauged by, like, anger? Traffic accident, indeed. The channeling will take place here in the channeling chamber, good sir. As you can see, I am in the process of preparing. Okay. Adrenaline. Maybe, I, I would guess. That makes more sense than anything they're ever going to tell me, so. So this room is the channeling chamber. The place where a spirit medium speaks with those who have departed. I don't suppose you'd mind if we observed the session. Do not even think of such nonsense. Only the medium and the client may enter here. Uh oh. The secrets of the Kurain techniques cannot be seen by just anybody. That never stopped the Maya from doing it in front of me before. It is also for your safety, good sir, if something were to go wrong. That is why, while channeling is being performed, that heavy door is securely locked. Oh, that's what the lock is for. Oh, yes. I wonder if you have yet to meet Pearl, good sir. Pearl? She's an adorable, angelic young girl. Konichiwa, senpai. I know Konichiwa. That, that's like hello, right? If I'm correct. <coughs> oh, that odd... She is my daughter, now then. What was it you were about to say? Oh, I'm glad I got something right. <laughs> what a cute daughter you have. Uh-huh. Oh, thank you for following, Monkey. Much appreciated, man. Really glad uh, you stopped by and welcome to those, uh, what we call the cynical freaks around here. Actually, I think it's the first time I ever called them that, but that's what's in my emote. <laughs> a pure heart uh, that knows not of the evils in this world is a powerful thing, good sir. Please refrain from affiliating with her, I request. Is that her just saying, like, don't fucking talk to my daughter? Uh, that's, pre that's pretty much what she said. Yeah, I've seen that you followed, Monkey. Thank you so much. Well, it's not like I had the chance to anyway. I must insist and stress that you do not let it occur. Okay, okay, I get it. Damn. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna... 
maybe examine a couple things like like this whole setup here I guess this isn't an altar whatever it is it feels very important a mirror-like object with a cloudy reflective surface and some branches of a sacred tree have been set in a predetermined arrangement <coughs> I remember the big breast girl called Miss May in this game. Yes, um, uh, Mia Fey. Uh, she was, she's probably gonna come back. We're messing with the, um, her family now. So I, I fully expect, like, them to channel her at some point. But she was who helped Phoenix, um, work his way up to being a lawyer from the first game. Good sir, I wonder if you would please not touch the sacred objects. Those objects are being offered to the spirits. If you were to touch them, good sir, they would become cursed. Yes, cursed. Why would it be cursed? That's mean. <laughs> she really don't have to talk down to me. I'm not that much of an idiot. Alright, well, let's, let's move along. Get the hell away from her and see if we can go to this wi winding way. Nah! <laughs> Yo, she is. She She's lying about something. She's shady as hell. I'm going to call it now. She did it. I, I don't know what she did. Can I talk about hentai? D man, you could talk about whatever you want in this chat. I will go ahead and start yelling family friendly but it's not <laughs> just uh the only thing i ask about in chat is you know just enjoy each other's company and you know don't insult anybody or you know just be completely rude that that's pretty much it um everybody that usually uh hangs out in my chat is uh it's pretty cool. And yeah, nothing like super extreme. You know, you can talk about as many tentacles as you want, though. I mean, that's, that's fine. <laughs> Hentai is so weird. <laughs> um, weird, uh, weird story before we go ahead and continue on. Um, my roommate Jesse, he, uh, he was watching hentai and me and his wife we kind of like glanced over yeah no links links are bad okay we we kind of like glanced over and seen what it was and uh we we were so stuck on stupid about what was going on on the screen and mind you it was nothing i I mean, yeah, it was really extreme, but, um, what, what, what was going on? Like, I'm not going to describe it here, but we ended up watching it, the whole thing. I think it was like an hour or an hour and a half. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was so weird. <laughs> but anyway, wow, this garden is really breathtaking. Someone put a lot of love into it. No! People, no! Stop, stop calling me! <laughs> People. What is that over there? Is that an incinerator? It looks a little out of place in a garden like this. That incinerator is completely going to uh, come into play. I bet you. I'm gonna examine all this. This looks broken. <laughs> it's a really old urn. The ashes of a person long dead are inside. It looks like something with a long history. Other than that, it's not very interesting, so time to move on. Well, okay then. I wanna see this. It's a small incinerator. I don't think garbage trucks come all the way out here to tiny villages like this. 
So, every family has to burn their own trash. Oh, wow. Okay. A splendid garden with a small lamp and traditional decorations. It's a bit small to walk around in. Although, that incinerator piques my curiosity. I, I just did the incinerator, Phoenix. It looks like there's a room over there, too. A peaceful feeling is emanating from it. One second, guys. Anyway. I just wanted to uh, shut that down because someone was trying to call me. Not entirely sure. Uh, side room. Let's go to the... Oh. June 19th. Faye Manor. Side room. So this is the side room. Looks like it's more of a break room. There is bedding spread out on the floor. It looks like someone's sleeping in one. I shouldn't disturb them. Uh, who are you? She's bedding spread out on her floors. She's probably an exhausted medium taking a break and catching some Z's. If I wake her up, she might be grumpy and throw a spell on me. I don't think that's how it works, Phoenix. It was an oops. Ignore it. I I will ignore it. It has been ignored. <laughs> It's a small alcove. I have no idea what it what it's supposed to mean or symbolize. If I had one of these in the office, it would end up as storage space. Probably would. But here, it's decorated with some pretty flowers and a beautiful hanging scroll. It's a decorative wooden bear sculpture. There's a plate attached to the base. Corain Village, the heart of channeling. What the? It's a souvenir. So does this mean it's easy to spot bears here? And for them to spot you? That's good. That, that's not nice. Um. Anything else? This is the first time I've seen a sliding door like this in person. From here, I can see the winding way and the little garden in the courtyard. Okay, then. Uh, hey, you! Hold on, now. This gal's got a few questions to ask. Hmm? I'm sure I've heard that southern accent somewhere before. Oh, no. <coughs> oh, no. Oh, well, I'll be. It's uh, Phoenix Wright. How y'all been? Haven't seen y'all in, what, a year? <laughs> um, you are, uh... <laughs> Yo, a lot of heart. You're a lot of heart, right? Bingo. I'm the one and only uh, paranormal photographer. A lot of heart. Huh, so I guess you're still at it. Being a photographer, I mean. Of course. And today I'm gonna get myself a real scoop. You wait and see. Oh, that's right. This ain't no time to be wasting time. The channeling's about to get started. Is it that time already? We all should hurry up and get to the medium room. What are you waiting around for? Come on! Oh, that fucking girl. That girl is annoying. A lot of heart, huh? I've been judging her harshly because of that case. But I guess looking back, we had some good times too. June 19th, Fay Manor, Mediation Room. We will begin now. We will now begin the channeling. Mystic Maya, an honored guest, please proceed into the channeling chamber. Uh, with this, I can finally sw swat all those pesky flies once and for all. You hear me? They won't be able to say a single bad thing about me after this. You would love to hear them apologize, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, Mr. Wright? 
Me? Uh, uh, yeah, I sure would. Mr. Gamaya, do you have a, the channeling chamber key? Yep, right here. That is most satisfactory. That key is one of a kind, so please take care of it well. It'll be fine, Aunt Morgan. I won't lose it, trust me. Okay, Dr. Gray, let's get started. Finally, let's go. Ugh. Click! Now, let us wait patiently out here for them. Please have some lovely bitter green tea and jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. Fall down now, Granny. Granny? How come we ain't allowed in that room? Dear Madame, you have an impressive grasp of English from where did you learn it? A lot, Mike. You missed a lot, homie. What? I'm from the heart of the heartland. Is that so? Then I humbly request that you return to the heart of the heartland. But what are you? This is Kurain Village. Oh god, that face again. If you cannot follow our traditions and rules, we request that you leave. Sorry. Wow, she shut a lot of heart up. Now that's impressive. That That is kind of impressive. Now then, let us wait. Oh, we're waiting. We are waiting. Oh god, a gunshot. Hey now, what was that just now? It came from inside the channeling chamber. Oh, and another one. Hey, that that's a gunshot. Excuse me. I've heard that sound before. It's a gunshot. I'd bet my afro on it. But my my is in there. Um yeah, break into it. Well, well, Mr. Lawyer, what's the plan? What else? We're going to break in. What? But but there's only one key and that kid's got it. We're going to have to break the door. Uh, is that all right, Miss Faye? <laughs> well, yes, but there is only one matter that is. Don't try to stop me. You can s send the repair bill to the Wright & Co. law offices later. Yeah, now that's what I call being a man. Slam! 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 <laughs> we broke it in! Go, Phoenix! D Dr. Gray? Click. <laughs> I... I was murdered. Oh, that's fucking creepy. M Maya? That man murdered me. So I killed him. Wh what? Click. A lot of. At a time like this? Times like this are perfect for snapping up shots. But anyway, what's going on here? This gal, is she Maya? Step away from there. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. But, but, hurry before there are more victims here. Uh, let's go, city boy. Leave this to Granny. <laughs> Granny, she says. June 19, Koran Village. My cell phone doesn't get reception way out here. So I end up using the phone booth to call the police. And they're on their way. That's good, Lordy. I saw a genuine mysterious phenomenon. She seems really on edge because of all this. Great. So now you gotta prove Maya is innocent. Again! Again we gotta prove Maya is innocent. Not that I blame her. I'm scared to death by what's going on. Uh. Hey, mister. That gal, Maya. 
she wasn't the one that pulled the trigger, was she? Oh, it's fucking creepy. Oh, yeah. Lara doesn't know that when Maya is channeling, her whole physical appearance changes. Well, then again, weren't there only two of them in there? I reckon she must have done it then. Lotta, what do you know about Dr. Gray? Not much, but I did some digging. That's one gent with a bad reputation. Really? I hear she's... I hear he's good at surgery and stuff, but his personality stinks like wet sheep. I sort of got the same impression myself. He's real controlling. As soon as his nurse or patient don't do what he says, he start howling. Must have been real rough to work for him. Um, yeah, let's go back here. See what's going on. Shouldn't that door be Bergen? Like, seriously now. June 19th, Fame Banner Meditation Room. Ah, Mr. Wright. Miss Faye, how's, um, Mystic Maya? She has returned to this world. The spirit severing techniques was successful. Let me see her, please. She is still unconscious. I humbly request that you wait outside for her recovery. I guess I just have to wait. Uh, the police are here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? You again? What are you doing all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? It's actually kind of funny. I was in the area for a business trip, pal. Well, time to check out the crime scene. I'll have to question everyone here later on. So just sit tight, alright? Why is he grinning at me? Shall I show you to the scene of the crime, Detective Gumshoe? Um, my name is Gum... Jimshoe. <laughs> the two of them went into the channeling chamber. I guess all I could do for now is see what everyone else has to say. Um... Well, yeah, I mean... Yeah, let's head in. Let's see what's going on in there. June 19th, Fay Manor Channeling Chamber. Question? What question do we have? Oh, what is it, boo? Why was there a gun? Um... Maybe the doctor had it on him? I mean... It... He could have had a, a permit to carry, I mean. But it does... It does seem rather funny that there was a gun inside a room like this. The police are busily running here and there. I don't know. Maybe he was going to try to hold up a ghost at gunpoint? I've, I've seen weirder animes. <laughs> And I don't see Maya anywhere. Hey, you don't touch anything. Look, I really need to ask you some questions. Um, don't look at me like I'm some sort of uncaring jerk. Tell you what, pal, I'll let you ask me a few questions, all right? Um, yeah, please, Maya. Um, about Maya. I hate to break this to you, pal, but with the way things look now, that girl's the only one who could have done it. Yeah, only Maya and the victim were inside this room after all. But Maya is... You can ask more about her later, pal. By now, I've got a job to do, and that's collecting evidence. Detective Gumshoe looks like a real professional. You would think, with all the strict rules, there shouldn't be any reason to be a gun. 
You would think, but... I mean... He... He would be the type of person that wouldn't even say he had one on him. So... I could, uh, I could understand him not saying anything about it. And yet, something about his expression still looks the same. So, Dr. Gray was shot with a gun, huh? He was shot in the forehead. But... But... But he was also stabbed in the chest with a knife. A knife? Basically, the Vic was first stabbed, then he was shot. It's definitely a setup, and I bet you, I bet you any amount of money, Maya's aunt is in on it because she's jealous of Maya. Having the blood of the master and all. Oh, God. There's nothing really to... Uh, there's nothing really to examine. Shit. Um, let me try to present. Uh, present. Uh, I'm really busy right now. I can take a look at it later. All right, pal. He didn't even take a glance at it. Alright, um... Ah, might as well. Okay. I guess we move back out. Um... Winding way. Let's examine things around here. Smile. Huh. Side room. June 19th, Fay Manor side room. Hmm. I'm pretty sure there was someone sleeping in here earlier. Like, how can I help you? Oh, God! Is that the pink bitch? No. Right? Did she dye her hair? Back. Ah, uh, I'm a... That is, I, um, like, so isn't it about time to start? Huh? Time to start what? Oh, you know, like, the channeling? Channeling? Oh, 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 no, actually, the situation has kind of changed. Huh? Like, what do you mean? Please stay calm, but there has been a murder. Um, so like, a murder is that thing where like, one person kills another, right? <sighs> of course, she wants to be master. If Maya is out of the way, she can take over. That is very true, but this one now. Who is this? Yes, a person has killed another person. Oh, that's, uh, what are the words I'm looking for? It's like, like totally a bummer. Yeah, after all that effort, that's all she had to say. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to, like, introduce myself. My name is Annie. Meanie. Eeny meanie. Eeny, meeny. Where's my knee and mo? Um, at the college, I'm just researching and studying parapsychology. Parapsychology? That's right. Um, I think people like usually call it occult studies or something. Like, supernatural phenomenon, ESP, psychic powers, that sort of stuff. They, like, didn't put much thought into that name. No, no, they did not. It's pretty out there. I I'm Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Um, oh, I gotta talk to this dumb bitch now, right? 
so what brings you here today? Um, like, so I was the one who told Dr. Gray about this place. He asked me, like, do you know of a good spirit medium? Uh, Dr. Gray did say something about being introduced to this place. Because, like, talking to dead people and, like, multiple personalities are my thing. Let's see. Um, then why were you taking a nap here? Like, I wasn't feeling good. Huh? I'm, like, allergic to sesame seeds. They, like, must have put it in some of the food they served me for lunch. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. So I, like, felt sick and came in here to, like, sleep. Turning in from my living room, we find the Justice Friends watching some dude on Twitch. Okay, cool. What's up, man? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I totally feel like I've uh, wasted time because I like slept a long time. Oh, reading her lines is causing me to have an aneurysm or something. Jesus Christ, the brain cells are dying. So you were sleeping here the entire time? Uh, yeah, ever since lunch. So you don't any don't know anything about the murder that took place. Like what? Oh that I like totally know nothing. Burning to death. It's so hot here. Oh really? This late, huh? It hasn't even cooled down any yet for you. So it was like you know, killed? The surgeon that requested the channeling, Dr. Gray. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? I don't know any Dr. Gray. You... You just... You just said you did. Oh, really? Then... What was all that talk about him earlier? Huh? Well, uh... Like... A long... Long time ago... I was... Like... A patient... Yeah? She sounds like she's trying to hide something. Bro, it's going to storm outside, and it's still 78 degrees out. Damn, dude. Um, I live in Texas, so 78 degrees is actually rather nice. 70 degrees, I mean. 70 degrees is nicer than 78. <laughs> um, this... I'm gonna... Yeah. June 19th, Faye Manor, Winding Way. There's no one here, as usual. Fuck! Hey, how are you? You're Pearl, right? Hmm, silent as ever. What's that she's got in her hand? I've seen it somewhere before. Wait, didn't they say something about the doctor? I'm an Iowa dude. LOL. It literally rains, snows, and burns you to death all in a three-month span. Well, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, kid, you! Give me key! Um. What is it? Is it in my hair? Is it too spiky? Not spiky enough? What the fuck just happened? Um... Did she run in here? No, oh, ew. Um... God... Damn... Child? Why is it any time some chick is named Pearl, she always has a weird-ass haircut? 
Why you gotta scare kids like that? I don't know what to do. I'm gonna try to go back in. Ew. And... Exactly. Oh, yeah, I can't examine her. Present! Uh... You want this? God damn it! Okay, what whatever. Whatever. Fuck that kid. Present something. I tried. Let's try... Uh, yeah, no, the, the kid's just fucking stupid. Like, like, I don't, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with it. There she is. Here, we'll examine this. Well, we already examined this. It's just a fucked up urn. And there's nothing else to examine around here. We got this dipshit. Um, I have nothing really anywhere else to present. Uh, and every time I talk to her, she fucking runs away. So you know what? You know what? Yeah. Boo! Fucking <laughs> stupid. Yeah, whatever. Fuck you, kid. Go back in here. You have anything else? No, you don't. Um, let's go here. Fuck you, car. <laughs> She's probably scared out of her wits after having a murder take place right by her. Lana? Uh, yeah, not even pronounce it. Ack, uh, don't scare me like that. What do y'all mean? Y'all the one who's scaring me. If I weren't so tough, you'd have another dead body on your hands. Mine. Okay. Give her candy. No, because... I, I don't have a... Shouldn't I have a van first? <laughs> Did you see or notice anything that stuck out at you? Nah, well, maybe one thing. What is it? Turns out my poor stomach's not good at handling this kind of thing. Huh, what? Curses and ghosts and stuff coming back to get you. This is just too much, I say. Nah, oh, man, that's just... That's just they say. What they say, alright. <laughs> what is too much? Being an occult photographer. That's some scary stuff, so I think I'm gonna try being a celebrity photographer now. Going after photos more within your reach from now on. More glamour, less gore. What's up? Oh, yeah. What, what is it? I took some hot pigeons earlier. Huh? Remember, I took some pigeons at the murder scene inside. Uh, she did. Two even. The seance murder? I sure like the ring of that. Seance murder. I sure like the ring of that. It'll be a sensational story. L Lotta. Sorry, but my journalistic scent is burning inside me. Hate to cut and run, but I'm heading back in. I gotta beat those cops to the scoop of this century. Um. This fucking girl, why does she always have to be like this? <laughs> I don't know who's scarier. A lot of were the spirits. And why does it feel like we've been through this before? Yep. Can I, can I make a phone call? It's an old style phone booth. I can't say it fits in with the rest of the area too well. Anyway. Um... Ah, June 19th, Play Manor Mediation Room. Oh, dear madame, you have such impeccable timing. Like, what's all the buzz? Um. Alright, everyone, listen up. You too, pal. I'm going to give you all a brief update. 
Right now, it looks like the investigation's not going to be done until real late. That is a terrible shame. I propose that everyone sleep here under the roof of the Fey Manor tonight. Why, so you can kill us all too? What a mess. I can't believe how crazy this day turned out. Maya was arrested and taken away by the police. And I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. No, no. June 20th, 8.02 a.m. Faye Manor, med <laughs> mediation. Why is that chick in a cushion on her head? Has got a cushion on her. I don't know, dude. It's a hat. It, it's one of those, like, hippie hats. Not, not hippie hats. Like, like, beat neck hats. You know, you find them in, like, fucking coffee shops. Writing a screenplay or some shit. Or doing poems. Yeah. She, she's one of them people. Also, she's a fucking airhead. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yawn. Morning. I guess I must have nodded off at some point. I hope Maya's okay. I should hurry and get to the detention center ASAP. What the fuck is that? Is that like an angry puffer fish or a fart crowd? What What is that? June 20th, 10.34 a.m. Detention Center Visitor's Room. N -n Nick. I... Maya. What am I going to do? I never imagined it would turn out like this. Calm down, Maya. Take deep breaths. Fort Bush. Now, I'm sure she was an experiment and she told him about the place to get payback. Huh. Maybe. Come to think of it, the first time I met her, it all started right here in this detention center. I finally, I finally get to see you again, and it's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I, I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. I was too weak, and I, I couldn't control the spirit's power, so. Where did the spirit get a gun? And a knife? I don't want to bring it up because I'll bring up the case quite yet, but you don't have to be nice to me. I understand. Yeah, so you're the master of something of the Korean school of channeling. Actually, my mother is for now. But since that title is passed from mother to daughter, I guess I will be someday. But many people think that channeling isn't real, that it's all just an act. You believe in us, don't you? <laughs> yeah, because I've seen it with my own eyes. When Maya's channeling a spirit, not only her voice, but her whole physical appearance changes, and she grows tits. Fucking way too big for anybody. It's a supernatural phenomenon that occurs every time. Um. Oh God. <laughs> I I look down for a second and come back to that. Jesus. It happened this time too. Doctor Gray said that she wanted to call the nurse. So Maya's body must have taken on that nurse's appearance. What exactly happened in the channeling chamber? I went into that room with Dr. Gray, locked the door, and sat down across from him. Okay. We closed our eyes, and I began the channeling. This is sounding kind of creepy, like the beginning of a scary story. And that's the last thing I remember. What? After a spirit comes into my body, I lose myself. 
my consciousness, then you don't remember a single thing. When I came to, I was being held in my aunt's arms. And there was blood all over my clothes. Hmm. Oh, but I do remember having a dream. A dream? What kind of dream did you have while you were channeling? Um, I can't remember it all that well, but... I was dead and buried in the ground. I couldn't move, and it was unbearable, really suffocating. It went something like that. I, I see. I have no idea what to say to that. There was a really familiar smell, too. Under the ground? Yeah, I can't quite place it, but I know I've smelled that same scent before. I guess this is all about all the information I'm going to gather for today. I'll be back later, Maya. In the meantime, please make sure you prepare it. Okay? Huh? It? What is it? The document requesting me to be your attorney, of course. But... What's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty. I'm a murderer. Lilac and gooseberries? Why not? Yo, if it's that... I'm gonna be shocked as shit. <laughs> no one's decided that yet. But I did. I killed that person with these two hands. That's enough, Maya. It's hopeless. If you defend me, you'll lose, I'm sure. Stop it. Help me. Nick, help me. I'm scared. Oh, dude, I'm so sad for her. Don't worry, I will. When is the trial? It sounds like tomorrow. As usual, zero prep time. Alright, I'm going now. Wait. This jewel. This is called a Magatama. It's a magical charm, and it's always protected me. Give this to Pearly, and I'm sure she'll lend you her spiritual powers. Slightly translucent, it's small, but it has a deep, profound aura about it. And, and now I have something so the little fucker won't, you know, run away. June 20th, Korean Village. I have to save Maya, no matter what. It's her life on the line. What in the world happened in that room yesterday? Let's go back to the room. June 20th, Fay Manor, mediation room, or meditation room. Meditation room nurtures all mediums, young and old. Even mediums in training, I'd wager, but it's pretty deserted today. Probably because of the murder yesterday. Um. June 20th, Fay Manor, channeling chamber. Looks like Detective Gumshoe wasn't here today. I should take this chance and thoroughly check this room. If I'm lucky, I might uncover a clue or two. Oh, God! <laughs> the bitch literally scared me. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Oh, oh, Mr. Wright. Good morning. I am on my way to go meet Mystic Maya. And I thought to bring her some items to make her feel more at home. Namely tea, so bitter you lose your tongue and jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. Yeah, that face would scare people. I'm sure Maya will be very grateful. Nah, that face would fucking scare people too. It's Mystic Maya, good sir. Eric, she is one scary lady. Oh dear, sweet Mystic Maya. Pearl wept constantly for you last night, as did I. 
I know it's important for me to search the site, but I should ask her some questions too while I have the chance. Site 10! Thanks for still being around, man! All is going pretty well, except for this bitch scaring the shit out of me just a minute ago. <laughs> but I should ask her some questions while. yeah. Oh, uh, what happened? I would like to ask you a few questions about what happened yesterday. Do you mean that awful tragedy? Battle by Rue is now online! <laughs> that man murdered me. So I killed him. M Maya! Step away from there! Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police! What happened here in this room after I left? Well, first, I struck Mr. Maya in the head. To make her go unconscious, correct? That is correct. Next, I performed the spirit severing technique. Spirit severing technique. The spirit of that nurse was inside of Mystic Maya's body. I used the technique to send the nurse's spirit back to the other world. I wonder if this kind of testimony is even admissible in the court of law. By the way, what is this room exactly? The channeling chamber. This room was created for the sole purpose of preventing such a tragedy as yesterday. What do you mean? Sometimes when an unexpected medium calls an especially strong spirit, that spirit may become violent in revolt, as you witnessed yesterday. Revolt? But how? When a spirit enters a medium's body, she loses her will and herself, herself steps aside. To put it another way, the spirit is borrowing the medium's body, good sir. But isn't that extremely dangerous? An experienced the medium has little problem controlling a spirit. But Maya, I mean, Mystic Maya, that was her first channeling. And that was why I insisted on locking the door. However, I never thought that would be calling danger upon the client himself. I am grateful that one of our heirlooms was not damaged in this horrible incident. Oh? And that would be... That folding screen there, it is the Quran Sacred Writings. Along with the Quran Sacred Urn, they are this village's most treasured possessions. If I even found out that something had happened to, to either one, all the humanity. I'd for her to be worried about the folding screen at a time like this. I guess this isn't just some dilapidated old screen after all. So, how is Pearl today? Mr. Wright? Yes. In this world, Pearl is my most treasured possession. When compared to even Mystic Maya, Pearl has the spiritual power to become a master. There it is! There it is! She wants her daughter to be the master. She set this bullshit up. That's very impressive. Until now, the women of the Branch family have thought themselves to be inferior. But Pearl is different. Her spiritual strength is so great, it's even greater than some of the main family. Yes, Pearl is channeling Prodigy. And is the pride of the Branch family. Wow, she's really fired up. In any case... Our world is so different from yours. Perhaps it is best for you to quit, good sir. Quit? Quit what? Okay, anyway. Let's examine shit. There's some empty space behind the folding screen. The light of the candles can't reach back there, so it's completely dark. I hope no one is hiding back there. 
It's a beautiful and expensive folding screen. It also looks quite old. Fuck that lady. Right? What what was it? What was it, uh, Zombie says? What was it? What, let, let me tell you a story about that lady. <laughs> Fuck that lady. Anyway. There seems to be some sort of sacred text written on it. But I can't read it. The, this is... It's a hole. Could this have been made by a bullet? <laughs> no. No, I'm not gonna bite off zombie now. I'm not gonna start doing that. There was a one in one thing. One and done. You can't be using that just like crazy sexy thing. I ain't ever doing crazy sexy thing. <laughs> About eight inches off the ground is a small hole that looks like a bullet hole. Well then, I do believe it is time for me to take my leave. Alright, please tell Maya I said hi. What was that? Uh, I mean Mystic Maya. I will tell her. Sigh. Alright, we found a bullet hole in that. We examined this stuff yesterday. So... This is where the medium sits. I presume there are four panels of this floor. The straw on the floor, floors, feels a little damp, probably from the humidity in the air. Or the blood! That is right there. This is where the medium sits. Uh, okay. Whatever. Um, okay. We found the bullet hole. Let's go here. She's always here. This is where I was scaring shit out of her. Little Pearl isn't here today. Okay, maybe she's at school. Quite possibly. I keep hoping to find something in that. Cider. June 20th. Uh. Oh, hey, like... You're that guy from yesterday. The, uh, dentist guy. No, no, uh, I'm a lawyer. That's right, um, Mr. Smith Esquire. That's fe that's right. Wait, I mean, you're wrong. My name is Wright. Smith, right, well, I got, like, three letters at least. Uh, I hate her. I don't. I don't like this character at all. <laughs> she is like that annoying ass punk girl, pink girl. Yes, yes. Less sexual though. I don't think she gets the point. Anyway, why are you here? So, like, I study this thing called parapsychology at this college, and. Um, you told me about that yesterday. The, the, ses the sesame allergy, too. Wait, I'd really like to know... Is, what I'd really like to know is what you're still doing here. Oh, so... Like... That's what you meant. Like... You should have been more, like, clear about it. S sorry. My bad. No. It's okay. Like... It's really... That's it? Why do you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like... What was I talking about again? I swear, she starts with the Barbie shit. I'm a snap! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If Lada ever wanted another genuine mis mysterious phenomenon, it's right here. Ugh. Okay. So, why are you still here today? And what's with the fucking tongue? Like, there's so much for me to, like, study here. Like, what? Like, the medium's training, or like, how they inherit their spiritual power. 
I suppose this village is the real thing after all. So like, I asked if I could stay here for like, a little longer. She sure seems like the carefree type, at least, on the surface. Have you heard about the murder? It's like, totally scary. She says with a silly smile blasted on her face. So, 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 do you know anything about it that might help? Somehow I don't think she has a grip on reality, let alone what's going on here. About the victim, Dr. Gray. I don't know who you're talking about. Like, wait, I think you asked about him, like, yesterday, too. That's right. Her reaction yesterday when I asked was... <laughs> you and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? Then what was all that talk about him earlier? Huh? Well, uh, like, a long, long time ago, I was like a patient, yeah. Oh, God. Okay, she's definitely hiding something from me. Like, is something wrong? Um, like you're a fucking idiot? Like, I'm really sorry, but... And I know, like, you totally had your heart set on it, but I can't, like, take it. Oh, giving this to you. Okay, we're gonna just get the fuck away from her. Do a 20th Faye Manor. You! Eric, you surprised me. And how are you today? Hmm, I guess she isn't open to friendly chatter, huh? She's still holding something in her hand. It looks like the same thing she had yesterday. You, kid! Don't you fucking run away. Oh, yeah. Maya said to give this to you. Oh, no. Oh, why do I make fucking children cry? Ugh, I'm in trouble now. If Morgan sees us like this, I'll be the next one they're channeling. <laughs> oh, God. Th that's, that's Mystic Maya's. Uh, she, she actually spoke. Who are you? I, I'm Phoenix Wright. I, uh, worked with Maya. You, you worked with Mystic Maya? You, you're Mr. Nick, right? Uh, excuse me? But I know who she picked Nick from. I know who you are. You're, you're Mystic Maya's... Special someone! Yeah, sure. We'll go with it. What? So then, of course, you're going to help Mr. Kamaya, aren't you? That's what you're going to do, right? Thank you, Maya. <laughs> right? Well, well, yeah, I will. Oh, wow. It's like a fairy tale. That earnest look shining brightly in your eyes. It must be true love. What? Why am I being boiled into a bright red lobster by this little kid? I'm so jealous of Mystic Maya. Uh, what a wonderful relationship. W wait, wait. I, uh, I mean, we aren't things aren't like <laughs> I can tell you're a good person all right mr. Nick I may be small but I'm going to help you in any way I can uh are you interested in Karen's traditional things too mr. Nick the Karen secret writings are on this folding screen oh is that what's written on it Actually, what caught my eye was this hole in it. It's a very old screen, so I think that maybe Bugs made it by eating through it? It sure doesn't look that way to me. What is she, acting like a teen when she looks five? K kids grow up fast these days, I guess? Uh... 
I'm sure it is helpful to you in some way, but I'm still in training, so I don't know anything about it. I'm really deeply sorry. No, 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 it's okay. I shouldn't have shown you something so trivial anyway. I'm very sorry. It feels so weird talking to a kid like this. So this is... That is Mystic Maya's Magatama. It's one of the most important harems of Karain Village. Please make sure to take good care of it. Y yeah, I will. Is it really okay for me to have such a priceless object? Okay, let's talk to her. Pearl, are you friends with Maya? I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. I wanted to be like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Wow. I had no idea Maya was so revered. Usually when people when people don't use Mystic Maya's title, I get mad. Uh, oh, sorry. But if it's you, Mr. Nick, then it's okay. Because because you're special to her. Oh god. Where in the world did she get an idea like that? And by the way, this may be rude, but which channeling school are you from? Which channeling school? Yes, for example, I study the Korean technique. Ah, I, I get it. No, 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 no. I'm a lawyer. A lawyer. Lawyer? Yep. Is that related to spirit mediums in any way? Um, not that I know of. Wait, are you telling me you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. Maya did say Pearl doesn't know much about the outside world. So, what's that you've got there in your hand, Pearl? Oh, this? I found it yesterday. Hmm. If you want it, I, I can give it to you. Please. Alright. Well, if you really want to give it to me. <laughs> you look like a child at a toy store, Mr. Nick. This kid is making this episode amazing. Really? <laughs> she not only speaks in a refined manner, but laughs in one too. An old steel key, a green jewel, is set in the center of the key's grasp. Um, Mr. Nick? Yes, Pearls? Uh, I can call you that, right? You're too cute just to call Pearl. Sure, Mr. Nick. Um, are you sure it's okay for me to have this Magatama? Yeah, it's okay. I was told to give it to you. But I can't accept something like this. All I really should do is charge this Magatama with spiritual energy. Spiritual energy? Oh no. Please, take this. I'm sure it will be helpful. What do you mean? It will let you see people's secrets. Uh? See people's secrets? Yes. If it's alright with you, I would like to accompany you for a little while. I can explain the Magatama's power to you when we meet someone hiding a secret- Oh! Let's do it! After we examine this! Oh. Fine. Bitch! We know you lying! And why is that box there? Hello again. We seem to be seeing a lot of each other today. Aw, uh, she's like totally cute. Is she like your daughter? What? what No. How old do you think I am? Wow, it's a Megatama. Aw, you shouldn't have. It's so totally not for you. Hey, like, it's not nice to freak me out like that. That should be my line. Okay. LOL. You have an obsession with that furnace. That fur- It's a furnace! People burn things in it. They burnt something. I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Gray. I, like, totally don't know him. 
Oh. Oh, what? Ack. What is that? You can see it, can't you, Mr. Nick? You can see the lock on that person's heart. Uh, what? This is the power of the Magatama. Only you could see these psychic locks, Mr. Nick. Psyche locks? Uh, the more someone wants to hide their secrets, the more locks you will see. If it's only one, I think you can easily unlock it. Unlock? But how? Oh, uh, what the hell did I just get myself into? Please use Mr. Kamaya's Magatama on this person. And let's remove the lock. I have no idea what she's talking about, but I guess I'll give it a try. You must be careful, though, Mr. Nick. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you. If you don't think you have the proof you need, you must have the courage to stop. Well, I've got to start somewhere. Let's give this Psyche Lock thing a try. I'm going to ask you again. Did you know Dr. Gray? I totally don't know that guy. Like, you're totally more persistent than a roach. You fucking liar. This girl is hiding something, I'm sure of it. I guess I have no choice but to remove this lock. Alright, so first, I have to use Maya's Magatama. Okay. Okay. The victim. Any meeny. I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you, like, how many times do I, like, have to repeat myself? If you're, like, so totally sure, then where's, like, your proof? Oh, well, it may be possible that you never actually met Dr. Gray in person. I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Like, what do you mean, like, indirectly? I should try to show that the possibility exists for now. Hmm. So something that shows a possible connection between Eni and Dr. Gray. The fuck do I have for that? Um. This? Here's your proof. Like, what is that? Ouch, I guess it doesn't have anything to do with it. Pearls did warn me. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you, she said. If I don't have enough evidence, I should probably stop. I should take another look at the court record and think through this time. Huh. I don't have anything, really. Anything that would connect them. Let's stop for now because none of the none of the evidence that I have. Let's move. See if we could find someone else. Two and twenty at the matter. Hey, hey, it's you, pal. So you're going to be her lawyer, I bet. Yes. Oh, I really feel bad for you, pal. Just this once, I wish you could be on the other side. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, but I shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff to you. Hey, you're a cute kid. <laughs> I'm not scary, honest. Wow, I never knew Gumshoe liked kids. Hey, I know, I'll show you something cool. 
How's this? It's a real genuine- No, Gumshoe, no! Detective Gumshoe, what are you doing showing her something that dangerous? Oh, sorry. You dumb fuck! What about Maya and the charges against her? I don't think you could win, pal. If you're talking about proof, we've got a few pieces. You've got proof. Yeah, pal. The puffy-haired photographer is going to testify tomorrow. He must be talking about Lada. Huh? Actually, speaking of Lada... I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember, I took some pictures of the murder scene inside. Lada's hot pictures. I wonder what her camera captured. And besides, you must have realized by now, pal. There's no way anyone other than Maya Fey could have done it. What am I supposed to say to Pearls now? About Dr. Gray. Well, the victim wasn't super famous, but people still knew who he was. His face was all over those tabloid shows last year. Yeah, I know. I was looking through some newspapers from last year and... Huh? I could have sworn I had a... I cut an article out, but I guess I must have lost it. He's searching through his pockets and poor are those big. Hmm. It looked really interesting, too. Hey, do you have a copy, pal? A copy of that article? I think Dr. Gray might have brought a copy to the office when I came by. Oh. Okay, let's, uh... Let's go back to... Right in Co's law offices. Phew, it feels like I've been gone forever. Oh, that's right. Where's that newspaper? Ah, here it is. Right on top of my desk. This is the only thing he left behind that's going to be of any help. One year ago, May 2nd, 14 patients died from malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. Okay. Um, um, Dr. Gray brought this over to my office the other day, and... Hey, that's the news story. The one about the malpractice suit. Fourteen patients died, and it caused a huge stink. Yeah, but that's not all, pal. Things only got worse after that. Y you mean the car accident the nurse died in? Hmm, oh, here we go. I brought my own clipping uh, with me today. Here, pal, this is for you. Alright, thanks. Mimi Mimi, nurse at Gray Surgical Clinic, died after falling asleep at the wheel. Okay, it's that weird bitch's sister. Um, yeah, let's get this out of the way. About my own child tomorrow. I've got two pieces of news for you, pal. Two? Yeah, bad news and even worse news. So which do you want to hear first? I don't really care. It doesn't change the fact that I'm going not going to like it. Alright, pal. Well, the prosecutor for the trial is Prosecutor Von Karma! Why? How's he back? Fuck Satan! What? Von Karma? Von Ka It's... No! Manfred von Karma. He was an awe-inspiring veteran. He was in jail! He never lost a case in the 40 years of his career, and he raised a fearsome disciple. The horrible aftertaste of the evil he force-fed me is something I'll never forget. Fucking von Karma's back? Wait a sec. 
Yeah, it does hate me. It hates. I hate Von Karma. Oh my god. But didn't Von Karma stand trial? And I'm surprised he hasn't tried killing you. We don't. It might come. But didn't Von Karma stand trial? And that's where the other piece of bad news comes in. Von Karma you're facing tomorrow is actually his successor. Uh, oh. Okay. Successor? So, um... Who is this successor? The Von Karma. Literally, pal. It's Prosecutor Von Karma's kid. Who had a kid with him? His kids become a prosecutor real young, like 13, and hasn't lost a trial since. Who lets a 13 year old be a lawyer? That's what they call a prodigy, pal. Um, kid, uh, wait. Wait a sec. Th 13? The kid became a prosecutor at the age of 13? I mean, a prodigy like that, I would have heard something. I would have heard something about. Damn. I went straight into gumshoe. That's how fucked up the game has me right now. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no, no. The kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. And that country's got a lot of stuff and is a great place to develop a person's talents. Germany, huh? That's probably why I've never heard of this person. Uh, still, all it takes is someone mentioning the name Von Karma. Yeah, he's fucking right. I get terrible flashbacks of that case. Aw. Stop it. Get a grip on yourself, Phoenix. None of that matters anymore. Now that he's gone. Stop ripping! <laughs> Jesus. Alright, uh, winding way. Side room. Bitch! The victim. Okay. We know this shit. We're already hurt for two marks, so... There we go. Take a look at this newspaper clipping. Like, what is it? A story about an accident? Please read the victim's name. Um... Mimi Nini? Mimi is a pretty rare last name, wouldn't you say? Is Mimi Mimi... Miss Mimi Mimi... Wouldn't happen to be a relative of yours, would she? What's worse is... Well then, what's worse than an angry, vengeful asshole? An angry, vengeful teenager. Not to mention, she studied in Germany. She gonna be pissy. <laughs> I, so, you noticed. She, she was my older sister. I'm sorry about your loss. Your sister. Was she a nurse, perhaps at Dr. Gray's surgical clinic? Gray Surgical Clinic. I don't think I need to tell you that the clinic was run by the victim, Dr. Turner Gray. Which is how you knew of Dr. Gray. You knew him through your sister. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, we got our health on back. Sweet. Please tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. My my sister name was Mimi Mimi. Her sister looks like a bitch. <laughs> she was like a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. 
That's what I thought. I heard that, like, Dr. Gray was really tough on people. Like, a total slave driver. My sis was, like, always coming home totally whipped out of, out. Because she was overworked. Wiped out. So is that why she fell asleep at the wheel? That guy, like, drove my sis so hard, so, like, that's why that accident happened. The one where 14 patients died from malpractice? Yeah, like, I think that was the doctor's fault, too. My sis was pushed by, like, everyone's expectations and, like, her duties and stuff. And that pushed her to her death. <laughs> oh, I I'm sorry. So, like, are we done? I've, like, already told my story to, like, everyone. Do you understand now, Mr. Nick? This is how a psychic lock works. Well, I don't plan to pry into people's hearts unless I absolutely need to. The lock this time was pretty easy, but you might meet people who aren't as willing to give in later on. If you don't have enough proof, be careful and know when to stop trying. What is this? Hmm. Now where did this box come from? I'm sure this wasn't here last night. It looks like a box for storing clothes. But it's pretty big for just clothes. It's mostly empty, but a few folded pieces of channeling costumes sit at the bottom. Yeah, everything else was checked. Alright. Alright, we're done with that. We're gonna move on. Okay, nothing in there yet. I, I, I really feel that there's something gonna be in there. Let's go here. Uh, anything else need to be examined? I just want to make sure before we go ahead and move on. <laughs> Laughing my fucking ass off. I knew it. What did you know? What did you know? Tell me what you know. Tell me your secrets. <laughs> the mediation room is on the other side of this very heavy looking door. The lock is broken. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's move out. furnace I'm just keep checking it because look remember the um the steel samurai we had there, there was something up with that furnace maybe there's something up with this furnace <laughs> join 20th Korean village mr. Nick hmm what's wrong I have never left Korean village R really Wow, that's, um, pretty amazing. You were going to meet with Mystic Meyer, aren't you? Well, I try to be Bobo. <laughs> Please tell her I said hi. Hey, wait! She ran off again. Well, I know any secret now, but... I still don't have any idea now how I'm going to save Maya. I don't even know if I should go in there with a smile or a straight face. Well, I mean, let's go here. What am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time. Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Must be Maya. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? That voice. TITS! <laughs> Mia! <laughs> the evil witch should be hiding. Even without being here, it looks like you've learned to stand on your own. Maya. Mia. 
she's Maya's older sister and my mentor. She was a top-notch defense lawyer, but a certain case forced her into retirement. But whenever I'm in trouble, she comes to help, just like this. <coughs> I knew she was going to come back at some point. Her spirit comes back from the other world and borrows Maya's body for a bit. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face in front of your client. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets, and especially when it's bad. Mia, you can't smile at the end of if you haven't been smiling the whole way there. In any case, the face you're making now is no face to show a client, Phoenix. Cool, Chris, what is up? Hey, also, yeah, was until she got her head bashed in. And she definitely did get her hash head bashed in by a fucking clock of the thinker. <laughs> but, but, so tell me all about it. I'm going to guess that my sister is in a lot of trouble again. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. A little bit of trouble. I told her everything about what happened in the last two days. Mia closed her eyes deep in thought while she listened. Poor Larry. Right? Poor Larry Butts. <laughs> so how you doing there, Cole, Chris? Hopefully you're having a good night, or morning, or wherever the hell you are on this planet. I hope it's good. I see. Mia, what am I supposed to do? It's pretty clear what a good lawyer does in this situation. And that is, tell me, please. I'm good, thanks. Night. Hello, oh, twice, poor Larry, twice. <laughs> Believe in your convictions. And fight for the complete acqu acquittal of your cli client. But guys, it is over that two hour mark. We're going to save here and continue on in the next one. This is uh, seeming to be a pretty damn long case. Hopefully it wasn't. It's not going to be as long as the case. Uh, the last case in the first game. Because that bitch was long as shit. <laughs> but uh it was actually really good to play phoenix right again and continue on uh with this playthrough so expect more of it on the channel to come and all that nifty jazz but before we go since we got a few of you guys here let's raid somebody because that's just a nice thing to do let me go ahead and see uh who's actually on that way, we don't, I, I don't throw you guys into an empty, uh, empty stream. So, yeah. We got Jacksimus on. Groovy Fox is on. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Groovy. Should we do Groovy. Ah, we might do groovy. We also pions on. Pions, uh, it's groovy night. It is groovy night. It is. All right, we'll do groovy. Let's do groovy fox. Let's see. Let's see. And of course, he does not come up on my list. So give me a moment to type him in. There he goes. Alright guys, I'm going to send you off to Groovy Fox. And uh, hopefully you guys have a good old time. And remember, if you're nice enough, she will slap his ass for you. So, go show Groovy some love and uh, all that nifty jazz. Let him know I sent you and I'll see you guys in chat over there. So, uh, bye bye now.